Hey, good morning, YouTube spookies. It's been a while. So today, unbelievably, we are on the hunt for Halloween decorations. We are first stopped off at the at-home store. I haven't heard of anything being here, but it just, you know, it's just got the vibes. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop talking because that is not why you're here. You are here for what is hopefully in there. Let's check it out. Fingers crossed. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. So, <clears throat> at home was a bust. <laughs> um, I kind of figured as much, but figured it was also worth a try. Anyway, um, next, I don't know, Home Goods is across the street. I suppose I'll check there. We'll start with like the ones we don't know for sure, and then be happily surprised or whatever. Um, and then we'll go to the ones that are supposed to have some stuff out so far. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we are 0 for 2. Strike 2. So next up is Joanne's, which I'm not prepared to be disappointed or, you know. Um, so hopefully that's not the case. All right, well, there wasn't much, but there was a few things. So um, I've seen all of these in other people's videos, but yeah, I love those little pumpkins. Um, <laughs> there's just so few items. <laughs> I was so sad, but I, I do really love everything that they had. Um, there's not a whole lot to say about them, so I will just let you be in the moment. Enjoy! Hey, me again. I just had to pop in and say how much I love this little jar. Um, I, I will definitely be back in probably a week or two because I saw a jar in particular that I'm not seeing on the shelf that someone else had shown at their Joann's and I want it really bad. <laughs> So at this point, I really just was taking what I could get. <laughs> I also hadn't been to Joann's in months, probably since last Halloween. Um, so I was just wandering around um, and yeah, just thought I would film anything that had any semblance of a spooky vibe. <laughs> so that's all that is going on here. Enjoy. There isn't much, but... At least there were a few things scattered about. <laughs> Again, taking what we can get, am I right?
So I was very pleasantly surprised at the selection of Halloween fabric. I wanted all of these. However, the problem is I don't know how to sew. <laughs> I've had a sewing machine for like six or seven years now. It's still pretty much fully packaged up in my craft room closet. Someone please teach me how to use it. <laughs> I want to make all the things and costumes. Um, and yeah, I, I wanted to see those things glow in the dark and I didn't want to be a weirdo and go find a dark place to put them to see them in the dark. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be quiet now. <laughs> On my way out, I did spot this little cart of a few more items that they had yet to put out. Um, I was looking for that apple pumpkin looking thing there because I'd seen it in a few other videos. Um, so it, that was fun. I got a glimpse at it, at least. <laughs> <sighs> we'll see. I was so very excited to see that they actually did have this stuff out and as much as they did. Uh, I still feel like there was a lot missing, but you know, there was more than I could have hoped for. Um, and I really do love the line. Um, it gave me a lot of inspiration for like crafts that I might want to make, like that magnifying glass on the on the picture was really cool. I loved these art pieces like these and some more coming up soon. Um, and I adored all of the eyeballs. <laughs> I, there was just something so whimsical yet spooky about them. I just... I... okay, and I wanted that. <laughs> Um, but I guess that was displaying something that wasn't even there. Um, yeah, that sign spoke to me. That pillow just loved it. <laughs> oh, yes. And if you want to make a drinking game out of my video, <laughs> uh, or whatever, take a shot every time I have to touch something that is obviously because of the texture. <laughs> Um, oh, and that button, I, it spoke to my soul. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, there are so many times throughout this video, uh, that I had to touch something. Yeah, so if you hadn't noticed yet, pay attention, uh, if you care, <laughs> because it happens a lot. I can't help it. <laughs> it's just the way it is. <laughs> So here, I was a little taken aback by the pricing, but I don't know why I'm surprised. Everything, everywhere, is insanely overpriced. And it doesn't help a person like me, who was laid off recently. <laughs> so, thankfully, I went out with the intentions of not buying anything, and uh, it stayed that way, <laughs> because I pretty much... Didn't have a choice. I just have to jump in and say how much I adored this little violin shelf or whatever it's supposed to be. Ugh, adored it. More eyeballs! And here's a couple more of the art pieces that I really loved that they had there. I, If I had my dream home with a library, <laughs> I would have bought those um, also if I had had money. But that's beside the point. Um, the, those pieces were beautiful. Love, love, love.
a heart beat. Okay, but can we all admit that that would have been the perfect gift for Angela to have gotten Dwight? Am I right? If you know, you know. <laughs> oh, hey, that's me. Touchy, touchy. Take a shot. <laughs> this little piece I gave a good going over because I want to make it. And I think I could with things that I've seen at the Dollar Tree lately. So, um, if I do make it, let me know if you would like a little video on that. <laughs> that smelled divine, by the way. And here's a little overview of what Michael said. It wasn't much, but at least it was something not super creepy, not super gothy, but you know, we loved it. And I loved that mirror. Okay, we have entered the final location, and just a warning, there is nothing spooky here. So, if you are only here for the spooky or gothy stuff, that's, we're done. <laughs> this is all fall vibes, and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> but, ugh, it made me the most emotional, I'll tell you that much. Can it just be fall, please? Always? Here at the beginning, there isn't a whole lot, but there is a lot more to come. Um, I also love the farmhouse aesthetic. Uh, my goal one day, literally, I'm working toward, uh, is to buy a farm and open a pumpkin patch with a big haunted house on it. And yeah, so I'm just always so inspired by the, and oh, that piece. I wanted it so bad. So many crafts I could store in there. I digress. Um, yeah, so I did get a little more shots of things that maybe aren't fall ish, but they still have that country vibes. Um, otherwise, yeah, I think I'm just gonna let you enjoy as I explore and uh, cry a little on the inside in a, in a good way. <laughs>
They had so many types of pumpkins everywhere, and I loved every single one of them. So you'll notice that I took my time in this area because there are a few of those signs that I wanted. One of them I even have already in my bathroom, but that's one right there that I want. <laughs> and soon you'll, like, it'll be obvious which is the other one that I want really bad. <laughs> um, I know that soon enough these will all be on mega sale. Oh, there it is. If you've made it this far, thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate you. Um, we are almost done here, don't you worry. <laughs> uh, and if you've enjoyed this video so far, uh, please give it a like. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please, please, please consider doing so. I will be posting videos like this pretty frequently amongst all types of other spooky, fall, etc. related uh, videos. So, oh look, it's a mini version of the big one that I love. I might be going back for that. <laughs> that one's pretty cool too. They're all just so beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna make this quick because I have a headache that I've had a lot of today, most of today. I just thought I'd do a quick recap of the day. So I went to uh, the at home store, Home Goods, Joann's, Joann Fabrics, Michael's, and um, Hobby Lobby. It was mostly a bust. So yeah, Joann's, you know, <laughs> the, at least. They are working on it, it looks like, you know, so. Um, Michaels had their little pastel goth situation. I forget, like, the name of it, but anyway, I'll take it because it had the spooky vibes. And that's, you know, that was what I knew they were supposed to have out. You know, I didn't know if mine was going to, so. And then Hobby Lobby kind of came through like so yeah I you know I expected that they would have like stuff in the floral area you know being that I don't usually go there unless it's you know <clears throat> around you know the time that I usually will see stuff you know like July or whatever um you know as you saw in the video like I beelined it to the left where the floral department is and straight away I saw the fall leaves and everything I oh now you know obviously it's not Halloween stuff but like like even just even just fall items you know that that's more of what I was looking for than say the stuff at Joann's and Michael's though I just you know I I was so excited and so it really caught me by surprise because I you know I I went to the left and 
then you know and i thought okay the, the flower or the, like the leaves and the flowers and whatnot <clears throat> that's going to be it and like i stopped recording and then all of a sudden i saw like well those little hay bales and i was i got all excited again and i'm like oh my gosh maybe there's gonna be more you know and then <clears throat> i just like circled around that side of the store and um and just kind of didn't really expect anything else uh but before i knew it there was more and i just like i almost lost it i almost got like way too emotional about it i you know it's just it's what i love it's what it's what we love right it's a, the it's the best time of year and again it may not be our spooky halloween like stuff but it's still it's enough in may you know like I, it just it, it that that dopamine rush i got it so hard and i was just so happy okay well thank you all so much for hanging out with me today you know now that i have more free time um, I am going to, every couple weeks, keep going out and looking for updates on what is out, and, uh, yeah, I will keep you guys up to date. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, like, I want to get my YouTube channel back up and running regularly. I want to post once, maybe twice a week, every week. And then the closer we get to Halloween, probably post even more. Um, you know, we're, we already are like planning our haunt uh for this year so i'm gonna be posting a lot about that and <clears throat> anyway there's gonna be a lot a, a lot going on all right well i'm gonna go for real this time so bye youtube spooky